on a normal day, we're just normal college students. If you're walking down the sidewalk, you're probably not gonna notice who's a joker and who's not. You'd be like, that guy, that guy does that? Yeah, I would never, never guess that at all. You've seen them at every game. The rowdiest fans in Williams Stadium. Their everyday identities hidden by the paint of war. For most football fans, game time starts when burgers are flipped in the parking lot and ends when the stadium clock strikes zero. But for Jerry's Jokers, their game day party is a bit more involved. The preparation starts the day before, so your, your whole weekend really is dedicated to the football game. Game day starts for us on Friday nights. That's when we have Gilville. It's just like a big party. Everybody's out there hanging out. We camp out, and everybody who does that gets to get into the stadium early. And so we have like, we're very strategic about that and, and making sure that we have people there who can get into the, um, then get into the game and then get in the stadium super early so we can get those seats down front because those are, you know, those are key for what we do. So at 60 minutes, we all start our ritual. We, we do a slow clap, we do, we do a cheer. And then at the very end of it, all the guys take their shirts off and we're whipping them around. We're yelling at the, at the, uh, um, the opposing team and we're just getting hyped like the most organized, unorganized thing there is. You know, everybody's like, give me more blue, you know, give me red. As soon as the football team runs out, um, it's chaos. I mean, losing your mind. But then it's go time, you know, it's game time. And we're just, we're there, we're loud, and we're just being as rowdy as possible. Lawrence, keep your head up, it's okay, you haven't lost yet. Brady, are you on his butt? Witty one-liners fly from the mouths of the Jokers as they distract, provoke, and attempt to embarrass the opposing team's bench. Hey, DeMontes, what's your favorite thing about Shaq? Is it his big arms? It's obvious that this student section does their homework. We have a couple people um, who, before game day, they get the roster. They get every single name on the opposing team. We had this senior who was living on our halls, and he was already making this list, and like he was already getting uh, the player's information and whatnot. I thought it was just the funniest thing, like the stupidest things he would find, whether it was just like these ridiculous tattoos. Jack, how do you feel about Anthony's Crimson Tide tattoo? Just like maybe something stupid they said over Twitter or whatever. And so I was, yeah, he graduated that next year, so my sophomore year I was like, well, I don't want this to die, like I want to keep this going. One of the other original Jokers, Josh Young, uh, he's just extremely intelligent when it comes to just making like a simple comment, just seems so smart. He was always getting people to turn around, getting them to just acknowledge that you're there, you know, getting a smile, just a little smirk. And if we can get them to, to look at us and not look at the game, then like, we've won right there. That's our whole goal, is to get them not focused on the game. And with each passing season, as the paint gets passed from one class to the next, it's clear the future of Jerry's Jokers and the impact that they have on Liberty football isn't going away anytime soon. We want to leave a legacy, for sure. We want this to be something that continues on forever. Like, we don't want this to die. We want this to be a Liberty tradition. So when people think of Liberty football, they also think of the Jokers, you know? Um, and I think in order to do that, like I joined part of a legacy and I was able to, you know, become a part of it and just fully buy in. And we're trying to get everyone that does it to buy in as well. We're just kind of in the process of like taking stuff that like we've learned and like handing it over to the guys and so, um, for me, like, I've got a, a hall full of freshmen, and that's great because they bring a lot of energy and they're really passionate about it. Um, and so right now, like, my goal is just to get those guys hyped up and, like, you know, hoping that they'll continue this on and, like, be able to, like, keep the Jerry's Jokers movement alive. It's been passed down, but, like, it has to keep going. So not only am I, like, trying to, like, continue that legacy and that tradition, but I also want to pass it down to the freshmen on my hall and make sure that, like, they become a part of it as well. This isn't an exclusive group at all. We want to be as inclusive as possible. We want everyone to come paint up with us. Like, it's our dream to have half the student section, the entire student section with Jokers. I think it's just so cool to realize like this is, this is bigger than just a football game. This is bigger than just hanging out with your friends. This is actually something that can like, impact our school as a whole. If we're able to give another opportunity or another way to impact the game, which then impacts the whole school, then that's what we want to do. So we want to just be as rowdy as possible, as crazy as possible, so we can distract the players so our players will do better and um, just go on from there.